I've worn a fallout boy shirt every single day this week. Sorry, not sorry. Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is all about the E-Leaf Eye Stick Pico. Alright guys, yes, today we are looking at the iStick Pico. Now right here on the front of the box it says P-I-C-O. Preferable, innovative, compact, outstanding. It has upgradable firmware. Let's just get that right out of there on the open because it has it right there on the box. It comes in silver, gray, black, white, or hot pink. Guess which color I got. Hot pink. And the tank that it comes with has matching O-rings to match the device. Now under this layer, you have the layer of spare part land. <laughs> you have spare O-rings, you have a charge cord, you have the user's manual for the Milo 3, which is what the tank is, and you have the user's manual for the iStick Pico itself, as well as an extra coil. Here is what the coil looks like. Here is the Milo 3 Mini. It has adjustable airflow right here. That's what it looks like. Removable drip tip. And here is the teeny tiny ice stick Pico. We have the fire button, the screen, the charge port, 510 connection. Here is where the battery goes because it does take an external 18650 battery. And on the bottom are battery venting holes as well as the regulatory buttons. All right, so I'm going to stick my 18650 battery in here. See, it sticks up, that's why you have this little cap. And then you screw the cap back on. Five clicks turns the device on. It displays the battery life, the voltage, the wattage, and the ohms. So the iStick Pico goes from 1 to 75 watts and can vape 0.1 all the way up to 3.5 ohms. It has a bypass mode and upgradable firmware. It has temperature control mode and can do titanium, nickel, or stainless steel. It has TCR mode, which is the, the memory mode. In TC mode, it can vape down to 0.05 all the way up to 1.5 ohm. And it does 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It does have a spring-loaded 510 pin here, and it's super compact. It's 70.5 millimeters by 45 millimeters by 23 millimeters. Now the Milo 3 Mini has a 22 millimeter diameter. It's a top fill tank with a two mil capacity. So this comes with a 0.3 and a 0.5 Canthal coil, and it's compatible with Atlantis coils, Triton coils, and the C-Cell coils. It has the adjustable airflow, like I showed you earlier right here at the bottom where you just spin, doo 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 and it does have a heat insulated drip tip. Here's what it looks like all put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the Milo Mini, Milo 3 Mini, excuse me, and vape it for you guys, but super cute, little compact TC device. And I'm going to be filling it up with Buttercream Dream by The Cakery. Oh, it is so freaking good. So this is a top fill tank. All you have to do is screw off the top cap here. You don't get a very wide filling area, so definitely be careful when filling not to spill. So here it is, and to change the mode, because it's in wattage right now, you press the fire button three times. One, two, three. And then it says wattage, then you use the regulatory buttons. You can go into memory modes, three, two, or one, or stainless steel, or titanium, or nickel, or bypass mode, and round back to wattage. And since these are Canthal coils, I'm definitely going to be vaping them in wattage. Now this is a 0.3 ohm coil, so I'm going to have to vape it a little bit higher than my preferred level. And it does change wattage by 0.1 increments. Oh, I can smell that cake e liquid from here. It's so cute. Anybody who's watched my channel for a long time would know that I loved the iStick line when they first came out. I absolutely loved the iStick Mini. It was so little and so cute, but it was only a 10 water. Didn't do sub ohm or anything like that. We've moved on in the vaping industry, and now this is the next best thing. I'm so excited to try this little guy out. So I do have it set at 60 watts, which is about 25 to 30 watts higher than I prefer to vape. So, and I have hopefully have the airflow wide open. I can't really tell which is which, so we'll just have to see. Yep, okay, I have it wide open. Spin it all the way to the left and the airflow is all the way open. Spin it all the way to the right and the airflow gets closed. Righty tighty lefty loosey, like hello. I'm just taking baby vapes and this thing is kick in the cloud because it's at 60 watts and I don't wanna because it's kind of warm. And I even have the airflow 
all the way up. So you know what? I'm gonna go down five watts just because it's warm and I only took a baby vape. Like I always do that like when I'm vaping something at a different wattage or vaping a new coil, like I'll take baby vapes to see where I'm at with it. Still pretty warm, but man, it's kick chuck like it's kicking out the vapor as soon as I press that fire button. If you press and hold the regulatory buttons at the same time, it will go in lock mode and press and hold them again to go unlock. Press and hold the minus regulatory button and the fire button at the same time to go into stealth mode. Holy crap, clouds, bitch. But still for me personally, it's still a little warm. So, and it's still producing great clouds. So I'm gonna go down five watts again, down to 50, just because I want to hopefully get down to my personal vaping range and hopefully it's still performing just as great. Cause this point three is recommended for like, I think 30 to 80. This one only goes to 75, but it has the upgradable firmware that makes it better. Mm, that cake is so good. I mean, it's still chucking the vapor. Okay, down. We're going down, down, baby. No, 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 no copyright. <laughs> 45. Getting closer to my preferred vaping range. Holy crap, I am so impressed with the freaking vapor production. It's still coming out of my mouth. You guys see that? Okay, so still doing fantastic at 45. We'll go down to 40. I love how when people try devices, they usually go up in wattage, but I started higher and now I'm going down and trying it as we go. Oh. Definitely so much better. The vape is cooler for me. Like I don't like a warm vape. You might like a warm vape. I don't but the vape is nice and cool. The flavor is delicious. I love this cake flavor and it's so little. The only thing is it's weird like it's weird having this little cap because the battery is actually longer than the actual device but also that means that you can only use tanks that are this size on here. Otherwise, if they're any bigger, they'll run into this cap, which is not a problem because what, what, this was 23. It's kind of like standard. Jesus, this is just chucking clouds. I'm so surprised, honestly, because if you've ever seen any of my older videos, I was not a fan of the Milo when it first came out. I'm fucking dragon up in here without the actual dragon trick because I can't do it. I can do one or the other. <laughs> I tried, it looks so funny. I like my dragon better. Cause dragons breathe like that. Like the, like I was doing, that's how dragons, that's how they do it. Like that. Yo, Khaleesi up in this bitch, who? is excited for the next episode of Game of Thrones. So I am noticing after like chain vaping this in the video, this is getting warm, but it's not getting hot. It's getting warm, but not hot, which is great because it has that insulated, the heat insulated uh, drip tip feature. So it's getting warm, not getting hot, bueno. I kinda did it. <laughs> so I am chain vaping the heck out of this thing and have not gotten any dry hits. It's just clouds, bitch, clouds. I'm gonna take it down five more watts, which is like 35 and 30 are my preferred wattage range area. Like I don't usually go above 35. So I'm gonna take it down to 35. Like it was fine at 40, but maybe 35 will be the best for me. Because I think 30 was the lowest recommended wattage range for this coil. And it's still blowing clouds, bitch. And it's, it's nice and cool. The flavor tastes so good. Cause I don't know about you, but I think the flavor changes the warmer the vape gets. So when the vapor is cool, I get the better flavor that I like. I'm, I'm impressed. For my first look video, I am so impressed right now. I did not expect it to put out this much vapor. I didn't expect it to taste this good. I, I'm, I am so 
pleasantly surprised. And I've heard a lot of good things about it anyway. But if you've tried the iStick Pico for yourself, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it, if you liked it or you didn't, or anything that you may want me to watch out for for a one month update, because you better believe I am doing a one month update on this. I love this little guy and I have to. It's part of the iStick line. Like, I love the iStick line. I will leave a link below to where you can check this out for yourself if you're interested. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload random videos that are not vaping related. So if you want to see more of me, you can check out that channel. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Casa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. Damn, the iStick Pico came and dominated the mini mod game right now.